everyone welcome back to my channel so at last we have a design video so if you're my regular subscribers welcome back if you're a new subscriber hello and welcome so i'm coming in here with senorita from glitterbells glitterbells is my only system now I'm just patting that out, making sure that the tip's nice and covered. And I make a really big boo boo in a minute, but I've left it I've left it in. So I just popped another bead on, feathering that back. And I'm doing the exact same again on the index finger as these two are both going to be an ombre. It is a simple design but I just wanted to get a design video up. I've also got another swatch video, what I've got to edit, so that will be coming shortly as well. So I'm coming in here with Peach Sobe and I've just picked up far too big a bead. And it just didn't work and it was very hot in my salon and it was setting really quick so I couldn't take it off you get my drift <laughs> so I don't know why I put another bead on but I, I did at the cute Claria but actually it were it were all right in end it kind of worked out so I put another wet bead very wet bead of the senorita on that tip and i'm just blending it back to try and get me ombre it didn't look too bad i'm coming in with some glitter anyway so See, that's not too bad, that. <laughs> so now I'm coming in here with Hot Crush. And I'm just taking it across that blend line, blending it up to the left and down to the right. I also put some little butterflies on it as well and I end up sticking them back about three times I think but hey ho This is the ring finger and this is going to be a full glitter nail. So I'm going at the cuticle with that hot crush, blending it down. I'd also got some loose glitter in my drawer. What well, I just picked up a few bits and popped that on as well. I didn't want that star. Making sure that tip's covered. 
So I hope you've all been coping with this, uh, I'm going to say horrible hot weather, I hate it. It's just too hot. We moan when it rains, we moan when it's hot. And as you can see, that butterfly is now on the end of the pinky. So we go back. I think I put a bit of clear down and I think that holds them in place. Yeah, I do. Now we're coming to the middle finger. This is an ombre, which I should have put some white in it, looking back, but I didn't. Um, so that is the Senorita and the Peach Sobe, and I'm just doing very wet beads in a kind of a diagonal motion and just blending them together across the nail i also come in with some uh, orange pigment as well Keep blending them together. The video is sped up a little bit. It kind of looks as if I'm just throwing it on, but I'm actually not. Again, popping a bit of that pigment on. And then I got some uh, tinsel pieces, there was loose tinsel pieces, there was in my drawer, so I just popped them on to try and brighten it up a little bit. I should have put a white in it, definitely. Coming in here with a much smaller bead and wetter bead than the one on the pinky. And that 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 don't look too bad. I was struggling to find the colours because half of them swatched. Half of them's not, and then, I'll be honest, I don't know where I am with them, but we I'm getting through them now. So I'm coming in again with the hot crush, but... Yeah, I did mean to do this. I've done this on the opposite way. So it's going up to the right, down to the left. Just thought it was something different. I really struggle with design ideas. I think I've said this before, um, if you've got any, by all means, drop them in the comments box and I'll have a go. I'm always looking for inspiration. Popping those little butterflies on again. I 
and yes this hand has a thumb this is my new flexi hand and on this one we're just doing another marble like we did on the middle finger Again, just the same, very wet beads, blending them together. I did quite like the look of the marble, but I just wish I'd have put some white in it. But never mind. We'll know for next time. That's my dog that you can hear tap dancing on the floor as he walks across the laminate floor. Bless him, he's trying to find somewhere cool. I left the pigment to last on this one and I, I do think it looked a little better um, than the other one and again some of those tinsel bits Now coming in and capping with Glitterbell's glass slippers. I'll just show you a couple of nails because obviously all the capping's done the same. Not really a lot to watch. Just making sure that the glitter is covered. So you don't file through it. Tucking it in. Blending it down. Remember to check all angles. Um, to make sure you've got your apex in the right place. And that the nail doesn't look unbalanced and now it's gem time again I had a bit of performance with these as well because I thought oh I'll use some caviar beads like people do um, and put them in between but it, it were all right in end, but first off, it were a nightmare. But, never mind. You can see me faffing. But, it looked all right in the end, so that was all that mattered. Do the same on this finger as well. I've kind of got the hang of it on this finger, so it was a bit easier. Faffing and messing all the time. 
so that's the end of the design guys i do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already please head over and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye